Morning folks, how are we doing? So we're back at it again with Amberlynn at Target Hall Perfume Organization because I, I just I love a good organization. It's just I'm the, it's the best mascara ever. Wow, she's really just she's just run out of things. She's just run out of things entirely. Uh, <laughs> Target Hall could be good. Maybe, maybe she goes out. Maybe she goes. I haven't watched it yet. Maybe she goes out. We're gonna do our usual. We're gonna stick it up to a buff, buff 1.25 because. I don't hate you guys that much, uh, and I think let's just go for it, guys. This should be fun. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to a new vloggity vlog. It is 9.14 a.m., and we are currently at 267 steps. Okay. So as you guys saw in my last vlog, I did not reach my 4,000. Yesterday was just, like, such a weird day for me. I was exhausted okay. mentally, physically. I think I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I think... Um. See, I find it weird because, like, she's doing a live stream every other day now. Okay, that's what she said. Not a live vlog. I'm dumb. A vlog. She says every other day there'll be a vlog. Um, but she only mentions like one day. Yeah, guys. Well, there was that you know one day there. You know, I like as you saw, I didn't hit my goal. So yeah, but what about the other day? <laughs> because vlogs don't cover single days. But weirdly, you only mention one day, which makes me think that the other day must have either like been worse. Or, or I don't know, good. And as because it was good, you didn't mention it. But I really doubt that because I think she'd mention anything that's good. Y'all, it's been a minute. Oh, how's it really but actually? We have a Target haul. We have a Target haul. And I'm excited. First things first, we got some basic cotton rounds. Oh, I'm so glad that you show us all this because you think it means you're going to write it off on your taxes. I'm so glad to show that you have some cotton pads. <laughs> um, I've already seen um, like conspiracy theories going around being like, she didn't actually even go to Target. I bet wifey went to Target and she's pretending that she went. Because everyone has this like real obsession with if she's left the house or not. My obsessions are more healthy. Like if she actually was lying about weight loss surgery. Or um, if she ate all that pineapple. <laughs> like, you know, the, the more normal obsessions. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, the only reason... Ooh. Really? At least you waited like five minutes into it before you started. <laughs> No, you, you was a good girl. Um, <laughs> at least, you know, if she went to Target, I think she probably would have filmed it, um, which would be more interesting because I, I think even I have started getting cabin fever just seeing her in her room here. Have you got cabin fever? I know you do. You don't even stay in the house as much as Amber does, and you're a dog. What are you, what are you planning? She was, I saw, I saw that coming. She's, she's getting the mouth all poised to shout. She's a good girl. Yeah. Yes, you are. Do you want to go to Target? She wants to. Oh, she would love to go to Target. We don't have Target over here. I'm sorry. I've never been to Target. I've been to Walmart. I know. I know. I didn't promise we could go. Yes, we did. Okay. So I've been hearing a lot about Native. I really, really wanted to give it a go. So I got some body wash. Okay. I got the eucalyptus and mint. And then Feline and I both got one of the eucalyptus and mint um, Native deodorants. You guys. Smells so damn good. We also got some Sponge Daddy, Scrub Daddy. I'm gonna do my control, my controversial thoughts here. Um, we've been hearing the phone going a lot more, like a lot more recently, like a lot more recently, guys. I'm kind of suspicious of that. Maybe you guys are suspicious too, but I'm very suspicious of that. <laughs> I'm telling you, when the daddy went into the freaking Shark Tank, he knew what he was doing, and he was daddy for sure. <laughs> did you get? Did you guys know that she's like quirky? Because she's she's just that quirky. These work amazing. <laughs> what? Pauline's jealous. <laughs> I needed a new mascara. I usually do better than sex, but I also really like the Last Sensational by Maybelline. So got that. Okay, so okay. I wanna try using some butterfly clips. You know, I am from the '90s. I'm a 1990 gal. So I have every right. I used to wear butterfly clips in fifth grade. It was like my favorite. I'd wear like a really messy bun and I would just like clip a bunch of butterfly clips. So I might actually wear these today. We'll see. We'll see. So I got some like really pretty colorful ones. Purple and like teal. Stuff like that. This is kind of like the first time I feel recently she's really lent into the like age play, age regression, fairy tale thing that she was doing a couple months ago before she totally forgot about that storyline for her weight loss storyline. Um... Because you hadn't really gone that hard at it. And now suddenly she's like, Guys, I want butter I, I want butterfly clips for my hair. I'm going to put it up on. I'm going to have my butterfly clips. I'm going to be kawaii. Some, she's like, okay. Okay. 
because like you remember doing it as a child, so you have to do it now. So you went and bought a whole bunch of these things. It's like this is the first time she's really kind of gone for it. Uh, even with like the Lego and all, like she had done recently, she wasn't like really leaning into like it makes you feel like a kid again. Teehee, I'm a child, guys. I'm basically a child. So, so I, I guess we're back to this, which. The age play thing was one of my least favorite storylines, even more so than the, the weight loss surgery. And then this one is just like clear gray browns. Okay, so as you guys know, I am a Blake Lively stan. She is my queen, my wife, my daddy, my mommy. Try again. <laughs> Move on. Oh, she's so quirky. I literally have a po Guys, she's so quirky. Now instead of saying baby every two seconds, she's saying daddy every two seconds. Okay, it's quirk. It's quirk to the extreme. Poster of her in my hallway. Okay. So, she's actually gonna be in Colleen Hoover movie, okay? It ends with us. Y'all have told me some scary things about this, like it's super controversial, etc., etc. I don't know. I wanna form my own opinion. So, I got It Ends With Us, I also got Ugly Love, and I got Confess. So, she's, she's bought a lot of books recently, and she has been reading a lot of books recently, but it's not like, it's not like she's been updating us that she's finished a lot of books recently. Um, you know, like, because I, I have a lot of books, and I haven't read half of them, you know. So, like, I, I, I'm not going hard at her for this, but it's, like, for someone who's going to be saving up for, like, weight loss surgery and everything like that, she's kind of going hard with buying loads and loads and loads of books. But then, recently, she's only finished, like, one or two, two, I think, maybe. Um, or, or maybe she's read more and just has decided to stop updating us on camera, which would break my heart because, as, as everyone knows, I think her, her book reviews are outstanding. Yeah, I've read uh, Layla by Colleen Hoover. I've read Verity, and I've loved both. I have a couple Colleen Hoover books. I know I have uh, November 9th, which I have not read yet, but I really so why am wouldn't excited you to, to read it. it ends with us because y'all have some opinions. And the fact that it's going to be a movie with my daddy, my queen, my love... I'm on it. Haha, guys, daddy. <laughs> with my, with my uh, daddy. That's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's funny. It's, it, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Because every time she does it, you see her eyes immediately shoot off screen towards where I assume Felina's standing. It's like every single time she's like looking for recognition for doing it. Uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of weird. It's not like she not laughs naturally or anything like that. It's very, like, very forced, very staged. And then she looks at, like, Feline, and then, like, starts to giggle, you know? Uh, I, I don't know, it's it's, it's kind of weird, comes across as unnatural, it's also just not, it's not really that funny, like, it's like, okay, uh, you called someone daddy, okay. <laughs> no, Blake Lively was daddy in A Simple Favor. You oh my god, daddy, this is, four, this is the four count of daddy in, like, honestly, a minute, maybe? Okay, so I put some butterflies in my hair, and I just don't know if I'm that girly. You're not. You're, you're not. There you go. That's all I got. You're not. That that, that looks... It looks terrible. It, there you go. That's all I can say. Anymore. I don't know if it looks that good! Um... Maybe I need some makeup on. I might just put some of my mascara on and see if it, like... Okay, so... Oh, I put some awful. mascara on, I put my hair in a side braid, and I changed my butterfly. <laughs> oh, no! I don't know, folks. I don't... <laughs> Oh no, that's bad. That looks really bad. Yeah, don't don't ever do any of this again. No. And I know you guys are... I could be like having the best makeup day and people in comments be like, Oh, she looks so ugly. So... Um... Yeah, I, I guess, I guess that's me then. Um... I don't think you look well at all. The... The side, um, plot really makes your face look big like it just accentuates how big your face is at least if you have hair down the sides it kind of hides a wee bit of it it kind of you know makes it look more natural you know it doesn't just like it's not like just a full moon face but the fact that you have like the ponytail here and the fact that the braid is so thin it makes your face look even thicker those get lost and just look dumb they look like it's like what what are they even there for it's not like they're holding the plaid together or anything like that and the, the makeup's I don't know. It looks just kind of bad. It looks honestly kind of sickly. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask what you guys think. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so oh, I've officially started this massive. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back to the possibly, possibly, possibly not um, sponsored video that she failed to disclose. Possibly. Uh, so, so let let's see. This I just I don't. I'm I'm gonna stand strong in my resolve that this kind of stuff, the pixel art, well not pixel, the diamond art. It's, it's it's I don't think it looks that good. It's so big. My immediate reaction to seeing this is like, what am I meant to do with it? 
after I'm finished. It looks so foodery trying to put on each thing individually. It looks foodery, especially the process is like, you know, um, go and like pick one up, jab it here, stick it over there, pick, pick it there and then put it there, check the color chart against, make sure it's, and it's just like, eh. Eh, nah, nah, nah. That's uh, that's way, that's way, way too much effort. If I'm gonna fanny around, oh, there's a toilet just chilling in the background there. Didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got totally waylaid. Um, I, I, I don't know. This would just like, I, this would, this would do nothing for me. I'd rather spend my time like playing like a video game or reading or uh, pretty, pretty much anything but this. Okay, so my bathroom sink. Okay. Tends to get. Isn't that where Mount Torridge is to be? So at least, uh, at least. <laughs> months later, we know Mount Tord is no longer in existence. Extremely messy yeah, within it's... a week's time. Literally just a week. Okay. That is it. So, I'm going to be cleaning her, but I got these things from Amazon. Got two of them. I thought they were... See, it just... I... It feels like... And tell me if I'm super conspiracy guy. Uh, but it feels like this is like a staged mess. If you get what I mean, I'll, I'll skip back here. Like, this is a mess, okay? You know? Uh, there's like a tile there. Okay. There's like a, the backpack. Can I just put there? Seemingly up for no reason. Like, why is there like a backpack just sitting on her, like, bathroom counter? A couple little jars and bottles and stuff. Like, oh, okay, okay. But why are there like these two stands just hap like, kind of haphazardly thrown in the middle that she apparently is like recently bought for her organization or whatever? Why are they just here, facing in different directions, just, like, really haphazardly placed there? It's not like they're both sitting, pressed up against the, the mare or in a position or anything like that. Like, they're literally facing opposite directions, just kind of sitting there in the middle of this mess. It, that just seems odd. It, it feels like she has put something small and easy to tidy here, just to have something to tidy and organize on screen that is easy for her to do. I got these... Things from See, Amazon. Like, why are they there? Got it's... two of them. I thought they were gonna come yeah. um, pre-made, but they weren't. I had to put them together. But I got them for my perfumes because I'm kind of tired of this. Okay. I don't know. It's just like they all fall. There's no rhyme and reason. Kind of. I'm gonna tell you they're probably gonna fall on that as well. You know, they they they, they fall over because it's like awkwardly positioned. Over it. So I'm gonna use this instead, and I just want to do like a before and after. So here's my mess. Backpack, perfume, hairbrush, wallet, uh, toilet paper. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't buy it. I, I really don't. I know this is like the the dumbest thing in the world to have a conspiracy about, but I really don't buy it. It just like, it seems like too random a stuff with like these things. It's like, why are they here if they're not even being used? Why are they sitting in such weird positions? It feels like she just went and grabbed a few things and just put them up here so she could do a before and after shot and be like, oh, guys, look. Oh, I, like I said, I love cleaning. And it's like, you ever, there's like, I don't know, maybe like 10 things here in total. So we're going to do a little before and after, which is my favorite. So let's do it. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? I don't, guys, I don't know if you're ready for, guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. I, 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 I like moved like three things. Like this is this makes me believe it even less. So this is like a real thing. It's like this is this is such a minor achievement, getting rid of like a, literally a few pieces of rubbish that I do not buy it whatsoever. And I'm like, okay, she has she had no idea what to do for this uh, this video, so she decided to put a few things up there just so she could just I don't know move them around a little bit and say, oh guys, look, I cleaned. I'm amazing because it looks so good. Does it? Dun, da, da. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was able to go shopping in my living room for a plant. Okay. Like, I like the plant. I think the plant is plant's probably the most visually striking bit, which makes sense. It's obviously it's massive green compared to everything else. But the plant is... Plants are really the only thing that makes that look, like, fine or good, you know? It, it, it's everything else is just like, okay. It's just like, it's like some, like, cheap plastic shelves. Okay to put in here because I have a lot of plants in my living room. Some of them are fake, some of them are real. I took a fake one okay, because the real ones need sun and my bathroom does not get sun. The okay. only thing I am questioning is, I'm definitely gonna keep these two perfumes down here, okay. but should I keep one here and one here? I don't know. Yeah, it's actually fine to keep. Why is there four of them? They all look exactly the same. No, oh, I have the other ones. Why do you have so many of those? Jesus. 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why do you have so many of them? Chilling in there? I don't know. Let me show you guys what it looks like without them. Thanks, Amber. I could not have pictured that myself. Like, you know, I'm, I'm so, I think it looks worse. Like that. It looks more clean and pristine. It does so. it? So. That was loud. Oh my God, this looks phenomenal. No, no, it wasn't, Amber. You're just being quirky. I'm very, very happy with this. Okay. Yes, I am currently sitting in my bra. It's my home. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm sitting in my bra. It's my home. I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna see what she says next. It's fine. And I don't know why people are so like weird about bras when people wear bikinis. To me. Okay. Well, that's like an incel take. Um. <laughs> I don't. Know. It's just such a. That's a weird thing. It's okay. You know, I'm sitting here in my bra. It's okay. It's. I, it's my home. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's like, um, I, 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 I might walk around my house in just my boxers and a dressing gown, you know? Uh, I might walk around just naked in a dressing gown. But I wouldn't film myself doing it. <laughs> it's why people always, like, say to me, it's just like, are you ever going to do face cam or anything like that? Apart from the fact that I don't think me as a person, my, my face and all, I don't really think that impacts on my... I'm going to say in massive quotation marks, work, <laughs> you know, like with my, my content. I don't think it affects the content or work whatsoever, so I don't really see a point in it. Um, at the same time, it means I can just like chill here in like a dressing gown or something like that. And I don't need to think about, oh, I have a trim, oh, I haven't trimmed a beard today. Oh, oh God, I got Okay, gotta gotta find something nice looking to wear, you know, because I'm about to be on camera. It, I just find it considerably more chill. It means the second I come in from work, I can quickly just feed the animals, throw my shit away, and just get in here, do a really quick recording, and then I can go and do something else. I don't have to go like, oh god, I'm just back. Oh god, I gotta go. I, gotta, I, should, go, I should go and do this. I should go. I should. Oh, I need to find something to put on. You know, I I don't need to do any of that. I can just jump straight into it and have a good time. Um, so. I just think it's weird that her attitude is like, well, I'm in my house. But it's like, yeah, but you're filming yourself for like tens of thousands of people. So it's imagine if your house was at like, like I don't know, in the center of fucking Central Park in New York and you had see-through windows. Would you just walk around in your bra because, well, I'm in my house. Pro would you? Well, you're an exhibitionist. We can all tell by you screaming at me constantly like this. You just like attention. What are you doing? Arr. See, Ram just came and started licking my elbow. <laughs> what are the cats doing? Because I heard them fucking around earlier on. Are you chasing the cats? No? Are you? You are. Okay. That's, that's quite rude. That's quite rude. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of weird. A bra and a bikini? Same thing, just different material. Like. Yeah. Let's just say I'm wearing a bikini, okay? I don't know if you guys... Uh -huh. Yeah, but like, it, it's it's like the argument's like, well, everyone has boobs. You know, every... Well, all, you know, well, not everyone, okay. I get, I get, before, anyone, before anyone comes from me, video, the vast majority of people have boobs. The vast majority of guys have dicks, you know, uh, all that shit. Um, so it's just like, I don't know why it's like weird seeing like my dick, because like, I'm, you've seen all their dicks, right? Because it's like a dick. It's like, yeah, but it's, it's, it's considered more personal. It is just considered more personal okay uh, amber saying this thing and trying to do her her best foodie beauty impression by sitting here in her, her bra but even so has like made sure to keep the camera up so you see like the shoulder straps at best like i, I don't know guys is there any footage of amber lynn just like walking around full body on on camera in just her like underwear on her bra is there i i i bet there probably isn't which is weird because, guys, it's busy, just a bikini, you know? You see it all the time. It's weird that she is saying this as this argument now um, when she probably has never followed through with that before. I think I think she's just trying to do a foodie beauty here. I can hear it, but it's storming right now. I can't, and I can't hear And it's just, like, it. really peaceful. Yeah, I can't hear it. That's pretty nice. I, I do. Oh, God, I love a storm. It's one of my favorite things about being in Ireland. It's like we have something like, I don't know, 300 days of, like, rain out of the year. It's not, it's not that extreme. I hear her shouting at the cats at the kitchen still. But I, I, I love the rain. It hasn't really been heavy rain or anything recently, and I'm kind of sad about that. It's it's so chill. I, I love it so much. Uh, so this is, this is pretty cozy. Update on the Stillwater Girls. I have maybe 20 pages left. and I You only had like 40 pages last, last time. I'm actually going to start after um, I finish it. I'm going to start It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Okay. 
So you're just jumping through your entire list to get to the new one. I find that doesn't help me with reading. Because very often, I, I will have a book and I'll be like, Oh yeah, that looks, yeah it looks pretty good. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. Yeah, no, yeah, I should definitely... I, I'll read this next. I'll read this next. I've had it for two years. I should just read this next and get, get it over with. And then like... In the meantime, when I finish a book, a new book has come out, and I buy that, and I just read that instead. Uh, so I find that doesn't help me get through my backlog whatsoever if you just buy new books and skip to them immediately, because you, you never go back. Um, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to show this, because uh, her, her book reviews are terrible. You want me to include it? You're the contrarian of this channel. You really... Oh, she's just leaving again? She, she That was a drive-by, you should review it, and then she just left again. <laughs> Like I have a whole stack of books behind me that I want to read, yep. but I really want to read this book because I don't know. People are have. I don't know. I just I want. I, you know, I, just, I, I just kind of want to. It's like yeah. It's almost like you have bad impulse control, Amber. It's 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 almost like you have bad impulse control. Like how how could anyone look at you and tell that you have bad impulse control? You, in my opinion, like if if you have like a time limit and it's like okay, the movie that she was talking about earlier on the Blake Lively or whoever it was movie. Um, if that's coming out, like, tomorrow, I totally, totally get being like, do you know what, I'm going to quickly finish this book, and I'm going to plow through this book, because the movie's about to come out, like, so I need, I want to see the book before I see the movie, that makes sense to me, it's like I have a massive backlog of anime, and then I suddenly realize that the new Demon Slayer movie's coming out, like, I think this week, and I suddenly like, oh god, I haven't watched the last movie or the second season yet, Urgh! and I was like, had, I had other things to watch, I had a huge backlog, and Demon Slayer wasn't super high up on my priority list, but I was like, oh, but... Me and my mates are gonna go and see that in cinema. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'll just put everything aside. And I'll quickly ply through it, you know. So, so like, I get it. If it's like a time limit, you kind of like push things to the front, front of your backlog. Um, but I, I have no idea. She hasn't mentioned when this movie's coming out. She, it kind of is like very much in the air. Oh, it's, uh, you know, I've heard that it's meant to be coming out at some point. It's like, well, it sounds like you probably have like quite a long time to read the book if you really wanted to. I have strong opinions, and I love a good strong opinion, so I want to see how I feel about it. Okay, you guys, so it's been a few hours. I actually okay. just edited my video um, that you guys saw a couple days ago, and I got that scheduled, and I just want to say that I got so used to using... So we're working in the past still, aren't we? Like, we're, we're still working in the past. Hi. What? I was about to say something here. Whoa! 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 You a good girl? Oh. You are a good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. Um, <laughs> yeah. One thing I've noticed is oh. that... Have you noticed it too? What was I going to say? Okay. What was I going to say? Oh. You don't know? Then why'd you interrupt? Why'd you jump the gun? You don't even know. You don't even know yourself. Oh. <laughs> He's a good girl. Um, yeah. I see, I, see, I see you keep getting... Oh. Out of the corner of my eye, I see you keep getting ready to shout at me. <laughs> yes, like that. And I'm sitting there going like, should I just... Should I just pause and just let it happen? Or should I just keep talking and let that happen? <laughs> You're a goof. You are a goof, mom. You are a goof. You a good girl? You are a good girl. At least you know it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. We've got... I know. I'm nearly done. We've got two and a half minutes left of Amber. Yep. Uh, see, I knew it was coming. I saw it coming. There we go. <laughs> Don't be too excited. Um, rawr, rawr, rawr. Uh, one thing I've noticed her doing because <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're you're on thin ice, lady. You're on thin ice. Go get the boys. Go annoy the boys. Yeah, go get the boys. Go find the boys. Go on. Oh, she's full of beans. She is full of beans here. Um, one thing I noticed is this came out yesterday, but I think it came out like early afternoonish for me or something like that. Like or early afternoon, maybe late morning for me. And I was really confused when I saw that because I was just like, wait, why is she doing? Why is she doing? It's, it's, it's why I couldn't react to it yesterday because like I was doing family stuff in the morning. And I was out with my girlfriend, you know, for, for drinks and stuff like that. So today, okay, sit down, finally get a chance to respond to it. And I was like, why is she like uploading? Because I think the video before that, I remember it coming out like early afternoon, late morning for me as well. And I'm like, doesn't that mean she's uploading these at like, I, I don't know, like 1 or 2 a.m. her time? Maybe even maybe even later in the morning? I thought her intention was she always released it at like 8 p.m. Like 8 p.m. every single, uh, every single, like every other day, I should say. Um... I thought that was kind of her go-to thing. So update on steps, it is almost midnight. Okay. And I'm only at 3,200. So I didn't- 
3200s okay so once again you failed like and that's what seems to be with you like just creating busy work for you to do um i so it's midnight and you have just finished editing your video and have scheduled it so i am right she is like releasing her videos at like 2 or 3 a.m her time it's like but why that just seems like a silly thing to do because like when i even when i release videos i generally like even if i really get you know finish it up um in the morning like you know i'd left it to render overnight or something like that or whatever you know i, I get it done in the morning i would i never really like to release it in the morning you know because like the vast majority of my audience is american so generally what i try and do is i release it you know in the late afternoon or evening for me who are you shouting at you hear the boys now shouting is that you, Chonker? Hey, Chonker. You okay? Come here. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Squeaker Squeaker just came in flying and after him tried to jump on his back. Hey, Chonker. Yes. There you go. I don't know if anyone's ever, if ever had Chonker appear in one of my videos before. You good boy. But this is Chonker. He, he, is, he is my chonky cat. Um, then I have Squeaker. Hi. Hello, Squeaker. He's staring at me, but he's not talking. And then I've obviously got Goober, who is very jealously watching me from the couch now. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't get why, you, why why she seems to be releasing these things so, so late in the night, early in the morning for her. Because generally, like you, you want to try and release at a time when the majority of your audience are going to be online. Because even on YouTube, it says most of your views come within these time periods. And you should generally try and release it there. Because if you release a video and, like, none of your audience watch it because, like, you know, none of your audience is awake, I, it doesn't seem to do as well in the algorithm. Because YouTube looks at it and goes, like, well, it's been out for three hours now. And, ooh, you've only gotten, like, 10% of the year, usual viewer base, we would suspect. So, ah, oh, it's not really good. So, generally, you should, like, you should try and release it during, like, peak time. So as many people can watch it as early as possible. And then YouTube's like, oh, this is performing very well. You know, that's kind of how I look at it at least. I don't know. She's she's a more way more professional YouTuber than me though. I reached my 4,000. Two days in a row, I didn't. So I have this would you rather thingy where every day, uh -huh. it's like a page a day calendar. And the question- What What is the timings for these vlogs? It's weird. She's releasing one every other day, which to me implies that they should be, uh, they should cover like two days. You know, maybe I'm dumb, but they should maybe cover two days at a time. But it's it's like I said earlier on. She is only like, well, yesterday I didn't get I, I didn't get it, and today I didn't get it. And it's like, well, there's only two minutes left. So unless you're going to include like the entire other day, nope. It looks like you just sit there in your bra the whole time. So we're, we've got like missing days. <laughs> we've got like missing days, guys. I don't like it. Hey you. I don't know if you guys can even hear him purring. <laughs> he's the he's the purr. Good boy. Is, would you doing? rather have a dog? Oh god, here she comes. Hello. Yes, yes. You can't get in my lap as well. You can't get in my lap as well. No, stop stroking me. Chonker has a weird thing where it's only like I said. The only time I want to have a face cam is for like the basic reactions or this kind of silly stuff is like i have a beard so every once in a while chonker just has a weird thing about petting my beard so every once in a while in the corner of my eye i see a little paw coming up and he just like pats me in the beard <laughs> with a cat's personality or have a cat with a dog's personality and i don't have an answer would you rather look young and feel old a dog with a cat's personality or a cat with a dog's personality i'd rather have a cat with a dog's personality because i've had cats with dogs personalities before because i've always had more like dogs than cats uh, and if you get a kitten and you bring it in and you've got like two dogs, the, I, my experience is that the cat just picks up. Ooh. I didn't ask for your input. I know what your opinion is. You just like dogs. Well, duh. <laughs> I feel that the cats pick up dog personality traits um, because of, like, you know, they just kind of integrate themselves into the pack structure. So that, that's kind of how I see it. So I, I, I've, I've definitely had cats who are more like dogs. What about you? Are you a dog? Are you a dog chunker? He calls me, he comes when he's cold, so I guess so, maybe? Ah, uh, yes, that's my beard. Thank you. <laughs> or look old and feel young. Ooh, I think I'd rather look young and feel old. Anyways, yeah. I don't really know what these vlogs are. I just know a lot of people come. What? This seems kind of, that came across quite kind of defeatist.
for me because I don't live the same life that I used to live years ago and it's just people change and like I just have a diff different journey in life this is a different era in life right now mm. but I'd rather be surrounded with a couple people who truly truly love me and respect me who don't want to be on camera <laughs> versus tons of people who do want to be on camera but make me feel like crap every single day i know okay it's a it's a weird argument to get, get, get what the deflection is and it's it's fine it's fine being in my opinion it's actually fine being a hermit i am a hermit as anyone who knows me or has tried to talk to me online before knows i am a hermit um i i just find it kind of um it, it's, it's just it's kind of a weird like counterpoint that she wants to you know, I'm living my life how, how I, I want to live it. I, I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of, like, fake people. I want to be surrounded by a bunch of people who, who, who love me, but even if they don't want to appear on camera, which is, like, absolutely fine. The problem is she doesn't seem to have anyone in her life apart from Feline. Like, anyone at all. There'll be, like, mysterious mention of, like, a friend, but then it'll turn it to be, like, Pink Sparkles. It's, like, some other random content creator who, like, they, 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 they got together to do Vlogmas by just exchanging gifts. Like, that's literally all they did. Um, she doesn't seem like she has any form of friend circle. She never really talks about, like, hanging out with friends or friends coming around to do stuff or going to a friend's house. She never really talks about anything like that. Um, and people say, oh, people are coming for me because I, I don't live, like, the life I used to live. It's like, well, you, you seem to. You seem to. You just don't seem to leave the house as much. Uh, and I, I get criticism of that. Really? There's just a pause slowly coming in. Hello. <laughs> but I, I think people... In my opinion, because I think a lot of people do just hate Amberlynn uh, and just want to see her feel like she said. I do think there is a, a decent number of people like that. Uh, I think there's a lot of like scorn, scorned, scorned fans who are just upset about her failing or lying to them over and over again, which is fine. I understand that. Um, I, however, luckily do not fall into any category as I am some guy. I have no personal involvement. I have no personal attachment or interest or relation here. I just find this all kind of fascinating and kind of funny. That is that is my extent of my interest in Amberlynn as a person and as a character. But I do think when people come at her with not leaving the house, I don't think for a lot of people it's even boredom, which, you know, it is boring just seeing her just sit in this exact place, in this exact angle. I think for a lot of people it's not even that. I think for a lot of people it is genuinely concern because she seems to be getting larger. No matter what she sells, us, she seems to actually be getting larger. And mix that with her seemingly just sitting in her house 24 7 not leaving not going out and having fun not experiencing new things i think actually people are worried about her so i'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt and say that's actually the main concern here a lot of people are like oh my god you're you know your channel's so boring now because no one wants to be on your vlogs and it's because of some yeah. of the people watching me um it gets irl in real life um mm -hmm. people harass and stalk and do crazy mean things and people in my life don't want to be a part of that and i okay. understand i also don't want people which i obviously agree with i think if you're one of those weirdos who uh stalks harasses goes to like people's houses calls their employer calls like the, the, the bars that they're at or life <laughs> she agrees with me i feel i feel as she agrees with me i actually don't know she was kind of tentative about that um are you pro doxing she looked away from me, so I don't think she is. I think she's good. Um, I'm not a big fan of like doxing or anything like that. I think it is, I think it's all kind of lame. Um, I think what's fun and interesting is this. You know, I think it's what's on the screen. I, I I think trying to like create content by creating issues for the person, especially certain trolls where they're like, oh, I want to get her fired. It's Are you okay? No, you don't like me talking about something serious like this. I'm sorry. You're a good girl. Um, yeah, I just think the I, I think that's all kind of lame, so I understand. And whilst I do think it probably has happened with Amber, I, I probably don't think it's a, as big a thing. I don't think it's probably a, as massive a thing as it is with some other, like, lol cows. Like, even, like, this week we've seen, like, one lol cow in particular have, like, his biggest troll buy an Airbnb next to his house. And then when the troll went to confront front him, he, he, he the troll beat him up, um, which I think is genuinely really cringe and really pathetic and really weird um but but i do think amber probably is using that somewhat as an excuse i don't think it's like entirely accurate i've seen lots of lol cars who use this argument it's like well guys i can never get a job nope can't get a job you might tell me to get a job but i can't get a job because trolls because trolls and it's like 
I, 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 I think, I think you'd be fine. I, I, I think, I think you would be fine. I just think you maybe, maybe, maybe that's all you need to do is like warn someone. It's like, oh yeah, some weirdo, some weirdo might call and be a weirdo. And that's all you have to say. You know, you don't really need to make it a big story. Well, in my life Good to be girl. a part of that because it's just, it's vicious and I love the people in my life and I don't want them to be hurt. And yeah, so okay. for now, it's going to be me and it's only going to be me. That's how my channel started and that's how it's going to continue. Um, Is that I, how the channel started? Wasn't like Crystal like pretty heavily involved since like right at the start? Um, you, yeah, I, see, I, I have to admit, I'm, I'm not one of those people who's like, I really, I don't really, I couldn't, I couldn't care less about seeing Feline on camera. I couldn't care less about like, it's like, oh, I want to see her and Feline on a date. I really couldn't care less about any of that stuff. Uh, it's not really that interesting to me. Um, I just, I, I think this is just coping and this is just deflection. I, I, I do think it feels more like that than it feels like this is a genuine concern from her because apparently people already know who Feline is. They have pictures of her. They find her name and stuff like that. Um, I, so I, I I think if people wanted to find that, it's super, it's super easy to find that information. So I think if anyone is like a super evil, obsessed stalker, they already have like Feline's details. So I think it probably would already be able to go for her. Um, if you didn't want her targeted whatsoever i feel it was weird to include her at all you know maybe it'd be better to not mention her whatsoever maybe it'd be better to not have her on live stream maybe it'd be better not to have her like helping you react to the trolls because you've had like feline say her opinion on what trolls think of certain situations so it's like why would you why would you bait the bull if you're that worried about Feline and everything like that, and you, you don't want people to, to target her, which I understand entirely, why would you have her on and have her laugh at people? It's like, they think I'm a feeder and like laugh at them. It's like, all you're going to do is upset those fucking lunatics. If you have her on and she starts commenting on the trolls and all and giving her opinion, then people will see her as part of the show and uh, as fair targets. So I, 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 think, I think that's a wee bit silly. Never came on here to be like, this is Amberlynn and friends. No, it's just Amberlynn. Didn't Amberlynn you? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see my next one. Didn't you? Like, I, 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 like I said, I haven't watched a huge, huge, huge amount of her videos. But if anyone even watched, like, my 500 for subscriber special, like, I, 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 was, I was watching her, like, talking with, like, all these people, like, in the house back when she lived with, like, Becky and Ricky and Eric. I think those were the, the two guys' names. Uh, she, it was very much, this is Amberlynn and friends. This is why, like, that's, like, the peak of her content, from what everyone tells me, is because she had a cast, you know? It's like, guys, you can be honest with me. Is my is my video as interesting as, like, I don't know, uh, Mr. Snowflake and Jimmy Bunker? Because there's two people bouncing off each other. That's always more interesting. It's always more fun. It's why people like podcasts, as opposed to like one guy sitting there rambling to himself. Because a bit of interaction back and forth is always more interesting. But I, I'm kind of blessed and lucky, I guess, because I've got Goober, Squeaker, and Chonker here. Like, so I've got I've got my little cast of three people who just come shout at me occasionally. But but I, I think Amber's channel is struggling because of it, and I think her reasoning, while somewhat understandable, is also mainly an excuse. Uh, but yeah, generally, solid enough video. It was good fun. It passed by pretty quick. Uh, I want to thank my Patreons here, guys. I want to thank Frank, Eswank, Healy, Blake D, and I'm just saying absolutely massive. Thank you so much for donating and subscribing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it here. I'm probably going to do a reaction because Foodie Beauty has done like our couples vlog thing of her going back to Q8. And I, I might do one of those because I've, I've got a free day today, so I might quickly do that as well. So yes, guys, have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.